I wasn't expecting company, but if you stay out of the shrubs and flower beds, you can stay. Give them a wave, Pops, now that you've invited them in. We're two old guys who enjoy playing sandbox and survival games together. I'm Uncle Craig. Go ahead and sit down. Let's visit for a while. We haven't seen very many folks around Tremon. I had come out here, let's see, right in this area to get some uh, heartwood previously, and we made some fine wood uh, items to try to develop our carpenter skill a bit. And I'll probably work on that some more. But I'm still going to see if we can find someone to help along the way. If I take this road out north, I end up in the wildlands. Might be somebody out there, but pretty unlikely I would run into anyone. I think what I'm going to do is come along this road here, take this road to the west southwest, and then uh, right in. Let's see, we would be coming down here. If I follow the road, and I think I will, I'll then go directly west and then come up here and go into what's this called? Uh, you, uh, you yes, you yes. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Hey, let's let's try this. I'm going to see if I can find out how to pronounce that. Pronounce uh, E W Y S. How to pronounce Wyas? Wyas. All right, we'll give that a try. Wyas. So we're gonna go over here to Wyas from, like I said, down through this area and up there. So try to find anyone, anyone who's on right now interested in help me. You'll see me check the map periodically as we go. I'm just trying to see if I can find someone who is up and about. Another thing I'm interested in doing is paying a little more attention to the details in the game, especially people's builds. Just kind of learning a little more. I, I like admiring them and running through them. I'm usually busy trying to get somewhere and do something. Hey, talk in here. Quiet down. Uh, you, <laughs> talking back now. Uh, I'd like to try to run through and go to a, some purposeful thing, but this time I think I'm going to take, take a little more time and look at the details. So this is a furnace here. They're using as kind of a chimney for, for the project. Now, I always wondered how close to the, ch to the furnace you could build the other parts of your construction. Looks like you can get pretty close. You have a well right next to the house. I guess it's okay. Probably helpful. I kind of like it away from the home. Usually in uh, real life, older builds when you have a uh, well, it's a little bit away from the home. This looks interesting. This must be wall pieces. I'll take my hand around. Yeah, individual wall pieces there. Will they get here? Now, why they switched using the walls sideways? I'll go in there and look. Now, in a lot of games, in dedicated servers, uh, putting that many pieces right together like that is very taxing on the system. Like, subscriber, get off my lawn! Server. Looks like it's holding together for a little bit. Aria. Now, I've seen that name several times. We've got an entrance here that's got a roof piece, but nothing more. I don't know if they probably intend to finish that because if you look inside there's no well you can't tell because of the floor there there's no full roof over there it's a partial roof don't know if they ran out of stability or what this probably didn't several columns up and those let's see how far they went they went to yellow orange they probably could not get the next level up there. Now, if they would put, uh, like the walls you have here, if they put those walls, especially if it's the old wall, but if they put those walls 
alongside these columns, they can get more height out of the columns. So if there have, if this is your place, Aria, if you uh, put some stone wall on here next to these columns, you could probably get a little more height and might be able to finish your roof if that's what was stopping you. These are great. These tall wooden cabinets. I can't remember the number of spots they have in. It's like 42. And uh, looks really cool in here the way it's laid out. You've got uh, the benches, and then you do have like a fireplace. I like that. Now, I didn't even think about that, that you can make it look like an actual fireplace in your house. So I might actually do that. I don't know if they could build a little tighter up against the furnace to enclose that area. This is, this is neat. I don't know why I didn't consider that possibility. I think if I do a blacksmithing area, though, I'm going to have that furnace there and then probably have no roof out over this area just have kind of an open air uh, blacksmith shop yeah, I like this um, I always say that when I, have I met a build I didn't like well it's a uh, this this is a little awkward the way these are laid out I can see a little bit the sense of it you've got the chair and the tables but I don't know if you would have a place where you could walk through door that's got all the clutter in front of it in life windows i don't know if i've in, in windows server if i don't know if i've gotten to the point where i can do windows like that fletching that must be a uh, charcoal kiln up above there let's go let's look out the back here before we go upstairs yep just an open backyard for the Again, if you look here, well, these are yellow. There's orange. I don't know what the thinking was. Setting this up that way. This is somebody else. This is not Aria. This is uh, a couple of kilns down here makes sense having the uh, pottery kiln out back it's like they're gonna they're planning on building up out there well tailoring and leather working up here go out the back uh yeah i think i'd put a door here <laughs> so somebody like me doesn't just walk on out there break a leg oh this is really neat a little apothecary area alchemy and distilling that's interesting yeah i got that cooking charcuterie spit spit roast wine wine barrel a little little cramped for me and a little cluttered but it, you know, if you think about it, if somebody was, had some stuff from a previous home and uh, crafting stuff, they came and they were building a house and they just happened to have all this stuff already and they had to have a place to put it while they're building, you could see this being the result, having kind of a clutter of stuff. Now the, the this probably would look better on the first floor. It's brickwork, I don't know if you would necessarily do that on the second floor. In real life build and that may not be what they were looking for let's go upstairs and yeah this is interesting uh i don't know what the intent or plan was here with this design of woodwork it's <laughs> really interesting though just a kind of a conglomeration of beams and different directions. Looks like they were doing like a radiated type of thing here. What's what's this angled piece right there? Not sure why it is that direction. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna jump down. Oh, that's not where I thought I was. Oh, downstairs. This is 
I can see why they did that now down here they used uh, they used the stone wall I think that's the same thing that is right here on the ground it does look kind of neat like that but it leads nowhere I don't know if that was the plan or if they're just unfinished right here it's kind of a neat way to put a closed off area some purpose. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a sign, <laughs> or should be. Okay. Oops. Ah. Go in here a little bit. We'll go on and see if we can find anyone again that we can help. Wow, look at that over there. In the distance there. That. That looks I, I mean, I could, I could visit everywhere. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. Uh, we'll keep going through here. I'm going to turn north and head up to that next road. We were here earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 